Good day. Ron Brookman here from Dwell Ministries with a 10 minute tip on how to deal with anxiety. You know, anxiety is normal. Even St. Paul, who said, be anxious over nothing, experienced it when he wrote, I face daily the pressure of my anxiety for all the churches in 2 Corinthians 11. I think also it would be fair to say that Jesus himself suffered anxiety as he approached the cross on Gethsemane. But he also overcame it, of course, and he can help you too. too. Anxiety is a feeling of inner turmoil characterized by dread over anticipated events. It differs from fear, which is an emotional response to a present threat. Anxiety, on the other hand, anticipates a future trouble. And its symptoms can include restlessness, being constantly on edge, irritability, difficulty in focusing or concentrating, tense muscles, especially in the shoulder and neck, constant fatigue, and difficulty in sleeping. Some people, of course, suffer anxiety more drastically, having social phobia or a panic disorder, agoraphobia or obsessive compulsive disorder. And then there are people who live in cumulative stress that just causes an anxious lifestyle. Anxiety also can be learned from traumatic childhood experiences. Should you have chronic anxiety, it's best to see a psychologist or doctor and use medication if necessary. But also practice these antidotes that I present to us now. Basic remedies for anxiety are practical things such as good diet, low and processed foods, um, regular exercise, ceasing use of drugs that are not prescription, tobacco, lower an intake of caffeine and also of alcohol, building trust in others so that you're able to talk about your worries and in that way overcome isolation. Tensing and then relaxing your muscles is a way to soothe your stressed body. A good remedial massage can help that. But then we come to the psychological and spiritual forms of overcoming, such as meditation, visualization, adjusting self-talk, where we uh, eliminate the negative things we say to ourselves and use positive self-talk to help us cope uh, with anxiety, better caring for ourselves. Now, in these areas, Christians have a real advantage to meditate on passages of scripture which calm anxious thoughts such as many of the Psalms and especially Psalm 23 for which an accompanying video is on this channel. We can meditate on Jesus' words, Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest in Matthew 11. Moving from meditation to visualization, you might visualize what Jesus further said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is comfortable or easy, and my burden is light. Perhaps you can just see yourself um, being yoked to Jesus and learning of him, letting his humility and uh, quietness just come into you, visualizing that. Alternatively, Peter tells us in 1 Peter 5 to cast all our anxiety on him because he cares about us. So to visualize casting anxiety onto him. 
Another grace that we can use is to be still and to know that God is God and that he cares for us, Psalm 46. Just after that, he said, The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. And so to be intentionally still and silent, to take just some time in solitude where you simply know and affirm God's presence with you, his peace and his love around you, actually casting out the anxiety and establishing you in his peace and strength. Psychologists also tell us to practice deep, slow breathing. As Christians, we can turn that into breath prayer, where we pray slowly and deeply, breathing from our diaphragm to help us relax. As we breathe in, my Jesus, holding our breath, my peace, and then releasing our breath, my strength. Or we could use the breath of the Jesus prayer. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Or have mercy on me, give me your peace. And to simply and slowly repeat these prayers under our breath as we slow our thoughts and anxiety down to be stilled in the presence of the Lord. Gratitude is another secular skill which deals with anxiety. But as Christians, we can use prayers of thanksgiving to offer to God which takes our minds from the things that cause anxiety to recall God's good gifts, how it is that he has helped us in the past, and to give thanks for these things. Indeed, Paul tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So taking time to be still, to offer thanks to God and to bring the situations that cause us anxiety to him, having faith in his care, his goodness, and his promises. Because, you see, in the end, it is our growing faith in the Lord who is utterly for us, our trust in him and in his power to cause all things to work together for good for us, that stills anxiety. That's certainly how Jesus came to still his anxiety on Gethsemane. He utterly trusted himself to God and to his will. So turn your anxiety into prayer and into faith. To counter negative self-talk, you can use scriptures that affirm you, such as 1 John 3. See how great a love that the Father has given me, that he has called me a a child of God, and indeed I am his son or daughter. Just to be personalizing the scripture to make positive affirmations, positive self-talk that reminds us of God's love, help and certainty in sorting out our anxieties. I just uh, conclude with uh, an encouragement from Scripture, again from Philippians chapter 4. Finally, brothers and sisters, Whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure or lovely 
whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. <laughs> Thank you for listening. My prayers are for you. If you like our content, please hit like and subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to support us, please do so using the link below. And don't forget the accompanying video on our channel, the Meditation for Anxiety from Psalm 23. Just go through that as a special exercise to help you deal with your anxiety. God bless you.